Hi everyone, I am Varshni from Optisol Data Labs. This is a quick demo which uses universal sentence encoder to compare the documents and to calculate the similarity score between them. Here we have taken a set of resumes and tried to rank those resumes against the given job description. This may find helpful for a lot of recruiters to find the best fit candidate by reducing the amount of time they have to spend skimming through the resumes manually. Universal Sentence Encoder is a pre-trained model which is available in TensorFlow Hub. It encodes the text into high-dimensional vectors which can be used for various purposes like text classification, semantic similarity, clustering and other natural language tasks. The model is trained and optimized for a greater than word length text such as sentences, phrases or short paragraphs. The input is a variable length English text and the output is a 512 dimensional vector. There are two variants of encoder component in universal sentence encoder. The first one is transformer encoder and the second one is deep averaging network. Transformer encoder is computationally more intensive and it can be used in scenarios where you require a lot of computational power, whereas deep averaging network is computationally less expensive but also produces better results. The model used here is a TensorFlow Hub model Universal Sentence Encoder 4 which implements DAN architecture. The diagram below uh, represents the architecture of deep averaging network where you will have uh, four uh, three hidden layers, a final layer, you give the text as input and you get a 512 dimensional embedding. First, the embeddings for the word and biograms present in a sentence are averaged together. Then they are passed through a four layer feed forward deep neural network to get a 512 dimensional sentence embedding as output. The embeddings for the word and the biograms are learned during the training. Here we have considered a set of resumes and tried to rank those resumes against the given job description. The text in the resumes are extracted and it is passed as input to the universal sentence encoder and the sentence embeddings are created. The embeddings for the job description is also fetched. The similarity between these two documents is found using cosine similarity metric. Here is the implementation of our use case. Here uh, uh, we have uh, created a folder called resume and uploaded all the resumes which we have to evaluate in the text format. And here you can uh, upload a job description against which you, you have to evaluate your resumes. Uh, this is a sample job description which contains the details such as responsibilities, skills required, uh, job type, etc. This is a sample resume in the text format uh, which contains details like key skills, project work, that, work experience, etc. Here we have installed a package called Doc2Text and we have imported libraries like TensorFlow, Hub, Doc2Text, uh, Globe, NumPy, etc. This is the code to load the model, uh, TensorFlow model. Uh, it may take some time to load the model. This function is used to uh, calculate the similarity score between the two documents. It uh, finds the dot product between the two vectors. Here, uh, here you can uh, give the job description against which you have to evaluate your resumes. And here you can mention the folder of uh, resumes uh, where you have uploaded uh, all the resumes which you need to evaluate. We have uh, created uh, two lists, uh, namely uh, org list and the file name uh, to append the similarity scores and the file name respectively. Uh, we uh, read the file and we pass the sentence list on, uh, to the model to get the sentence embeddings. We also get the sentence embeddings for the given job description and we try to find the similarity score uh, between the two documents. Here you can see the output. Uh, here uh, we have uh, text tested against a uh, job description for a data scientist or machine learning engineer role. And according to this uh, uh, set of resumes, uh, we see that the Jitin JNIS resume is found to be more similar with the given job description uh, rather than uh, Ishwat Fatma resumes.
Uh, to evaluate our output, uh, if we open uh, Jitin JNIS resume, you can see uh, this is a resume of a machine learning engineer, uh, which goes well with the uh, job description given. If we see Ishrit Fatma resume, this is a resume of an English teacher, which uh, does not match with the given job description. Hence, we can see that uh, Jitin JNIS resume is with a similarity score of 0 0.76. And Ishrit Fatma resume is with a similarity score of 0.22. So uh, this uh, use case can be uh, helpful for a lot of uh, organizations and recruiters to rank the resumes against the given job description. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.